It's it's not good. It's not it's not good to watch. The game the games are sort of like hype because of the tension between them, but the game the the level is not there. Yeah, yeah. That, it's that, fun to yeah. watch. I'm still I'm yeah. still enjoying the yeah. experience of watching it, but the, yeah. yeah. That was actually the thing I got. Uh, I was watching Dom's stream on Sunday, and you had uh, a, just a, a motley crew of guests come on your live viewing. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them was Perks, and so Perks was watching and basically predicting uh, what the play. It, it was so interesting because it felt like he was almost four layers of gameplay in front of what was happening in Golden Guardians TSM, right? It was Hanser split pushing, and he's like, okay, he needs to stop push, split pushing now because he's going to get collapsed on. He's like, all right, Bjergsen is now here, and he's getting the free kill, and I don't think he believes how crazy this free kill is. All right, now FBI is diving underneath the turret and opening up the play to allow Demonte to go to the top side and take the tower. And because FBI is diving, now the whole team is diving uh, in between the mid lane turret. It was, it was, he, he saw, he was able to break down the action on what happened and how he understood it, but it still was removed from his optimal play, which was like four deviations. Yeah, away. exactly. <laughs> which is which is exactly what he's looking at the game through is when he's like, I mean, obviously he plays a ton of mid lane, like he's an extremely proficient mid laner. So one of the things that 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 he's always looking out for is like lane matchups in the side lane, which NA players don't really know, and like the, the lane matchups don't really make sense necessarily. So in that game specifically, it was Mordekaiser matching up into Oriana, and when they're both on one items, uh, like if the Oriana has phase rush. She's she's just going to be able to perma kite the, the Mordekaiser, and then even if you get Death Realmed, um, just the range discrepancy is going to just give the Oriana like a, 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 the ability to just essentially free kill the Mordekaiser unless the Oriana hard misplays or something like that. So immediately when he's looking at it, he's like, "Oh well, if I'm Oriana on one and a half items, and I see this Mordekaiser in my lane, I will one shot them. Like I'm just going to take this fight guaranteed." And the problem with NA is like it seems like like Hansard's had no concept of that's uh, of that actually happening in that game. He he walks into lane with with, with Mordekaiser and it, it seems like he's like oh Oriana's here and then they're just gonna like even farm. He doesn't realize that he's just gonna get ulted in one shot inside of the lane. So those are the types of mistakes where it's just baffling that NA just doesn't have like these basic ideas of lane matchups. Also inherently like. The, the lane matchup is wrong because one side has CP, the other side doesn't, right? And normally, it's it's like been in League of Legends since like before I was even playing, where it's like, okay, if the objective is Dragon, the guy with TP goes top, right? If the objective is Baron or Rift Herald, then the guy with TP goes bottom. We literally have the TP on the wrong side of the map a lot of the time. So it's it's super hard for me to really understand like why we still haven't like got these basic ideas like down pat. Like it should be guaranteed, hey, we need to match our, our lanes correctly, we should do our lane assignments according to the next objective. I feel like NA, so like compounding on what you're talking about, uh, have you watched like some behind the scenes videos? Like, uh, yeah, uh, like, get some legends. Dude, some of, some of the conversations that happen between the players are just horrifying. Like, you can just <laughs> tell that they don't know anything about each other's like champions or matchups or like what's going on. And then, then there's comments like where matchups that have been present for a long time. You have players saying that they didn't understand it or that they didn't know it to the extent that mm -hmm. they needed to know it. And it's like, wh what do you mean? Like, I, what? I feel, what? Like, are you talking about the double of conversation where they were talking about the bot lane matchup into Kaylin uh, or like presumably Kaylin? Because obviously they're being yeah, the champion were, names. There, there was that one, but there, there's also like the comments on Twitter. Um, if you if you sift through them between some of the, the pro players um, talking about like matchups and, and whatnot. And it's just so weird, man. It's just so strange. And then there, there's other stuff like um, the, the, the clearly losing Herald fights yep. where the teams will just take a Herald fight and it's like everyone watching can tell that it's not ideal, that you shouldn't fight it, right? But for some reason, they just, they're so gung-ho to just go in. Or, or like the, the worst ones, right, are the second Herald, like 16, 17 minutes. And like uh, two the, of the tier one turrets are already down and yeah. there's no fucking plates and like <laughs> no light bulb goes off in any player's head that like, hmm, you know what? Actually, maybe all these minions and the three fucking waves dying is actually worth more total gold than what we're trying to get with this Herald. Um, and that one, that one always fucking stupefies me. So I, I, I don't know. It's really weird. Other problems with like all those shows that. You know, I just wanted to mention briefly, like the the fact that TSM Legends is blatantly displaying their own team's draft in a game 
is so crazy to me. It's like, wait, so you, you like blurred it, but you didn't blur it enough that I can't. They do didn't really blur it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, so you go into the games and it's like, we haven't seen TSM play a game of Swain yet, right? We have not seen a game of Swain from TSM, but Golden Guardians is banning Swain because they see in TSM Legends, like four or five, that they are sometimes picking Swain as a counter pick, which obviously like probably came from Power of Evil and FlyQuest and all that stuff that we, we've already um, got into uh, in the earlier rounds of playoffs. But I feel like stuff like that is just so so troll to me. It's like, okay, so, so the other thing they showed was that Akali was being flexed, that they play Akali mid and top, which a lot of teams don't do right now. That's one of the things that I'm sure is very specific to TSM. So a lot of teams are willing to ban Akali just based on the fact that the champion is a strong mid right now. After the buffs, it's in a good yes. spot. But the fact that TSM flexes it to top makes it like a clear no-brainer ban. And I, I would be really surprised if Akali was not banned one, two, three in every single game of um, the series between C9 and TSM. Do you do you think uh I, I know this is kind of out there, right? But I guess I would bring it up. Do you think there is any chance that the blurring of champions and whatnot was done intentionally? Do you know uh, what I mean? I uh, that's like that's so five head. Not. It's too five head. I, I, I hope so. It's too I, I five. I hope head, that they're that they're that would just be that, that would be the play. It's too five head. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is really? like, like what is what does that even do for you? It's like it's like, yeah, I mean I showed that we play a Kali top. Gotcha. Like baited you into banning it. It's like, oh fuck, wait, we actually do play a Kali top. So, like, <laughs> like, I, like, what happens? I don't get it. One of one of the interesting one. I like imagine if they showed like three different team comps, right? That all have Karthus or something. That one could be interesting, right? If uh, opponents suddenly believe that you play Karthus when you just don't play it, I guess that could get interesting. But yeah, like the the champions that like you're mentioning that were getting blurred out, most of them were just standard champions. So it's just so fucking weird, man. I commented on that when I watched it live on stream. Did, did you watch it live? Yeah, I watched it live as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I didn't understand it. Yep.